throughout the day and to this gathering. We ask that Holy Spirit, who is the teacher and the counselor, come and have your own way and do what is expected. That our marriages and those here to marry will find joy and satisfaction. We praise thee in Jesus' name. Amen. Who can define the word perfect or perfection? Perfect. Who can define it? If you can, just raise your hand. This is a seminar. This is not church. It's not preaching time. If you can define the word perfect. Anybody? That's what we are in school. Yes. My, is it a, a brother or a sister? Okay, please put the mic on the distance so that the person can come there. If there is question, if there is something, the person can come there. So, my brother, please come to the mic. Is it a, a lady or who is that, Pastor Isaac? Where is the second person? The second person too should go behind him. Let's hear. Yes, Isaac, let's hear. Uh, perfect is doing something without any fault. Any fault with it. Means that thing is perfect. Let me hear you again. You said it is a... Uh, um, something that you are doing that has no fault. That is perfect. Okay. The, the next person. Perfect. 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 Alright. Why should you? Okay, our first brother said something done without fault or blame. And so if we all agree with that, then the question is. Whose marriage is perfect? Why na na wa re de edimu? Na che se nka kain fom so bi eni hu. Anti agye ye wa wa re. Wa wa re na edimu. Ana se nka kain wo hu. Now to those of you who are visitors, no I won't use visitors, you are brethren in the faith. Who have joined us here? I'll introduce my wife to you. My wife is come, come here. Because here, come introduce the This is uh, Mrs. Agnes Isi Ahi. Bear come in here. Adaka me ne info che moje ashioko. That is Nifidi. Once a while, I mentioned that name. So this is my wife, the most beautiful woman in the whole world. God bless you. We've been married for this September 20th. We'll be 43 years in marriage. And it has been his grace. Yes, it is not perfect yet. We are striving unto perfection. And that perfection will come when we see Jesus. Paul said, we know in part and we see in part. But when the perfect is come, when the reality is come, then we shall see its fullness. In talking to married people, I do say that this is your wife. You have never known him in totality. Your husband. You have never known him in totality. Why? Because what is in his head has not yet come out for you to know. And what is in her mind has not come out. Until she speaks it. You don't know the lady that you are living with. You don't know the woman that somebody will say, for me, I know my wife. Oh, yes. You know her to some extent. 
but not in totality, not in completion. No, 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 no. For these almost 43 years, I'm still studying this woman. She's also still studying me. We have not known ourselves to the latter. Tonight we are looking at the title which says Marriage Without Regret. Regret is not an evil word. Go show here, J. Phony. She, no, ni ha, or show here, can no, ni of fear, yen, I can, he shamo, me, and ya, we, ye, I was, I, no, 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 and then, I'm not regretting, no, a bear at the bonny. Especially when it is connected to marriage. I tried myself, me myself, the letter marriage. M A R R I A G G. I tried to define the word. My brother, are you having a problem? So that you put it there. Okay, let's look at it. Marriage. Marriage. If you want to have regret free, Understand the word marriage. Letter M stands for what? Maintaining. Maintaining a right relationship in a grateful environment. That is marriage. Maintaining a right relationship in a grateful environment. So in the marriage, you try to create an environment, environment of gratefulness in your relationship. This will help you to forgo regrets. So what Maintaining a right relationship in a grateful environment. There are two classes of people here. Those who are yet to go in and those who are in. And probably those who have gone out. Why do you have to go out of the marriage? The Bible has given us reasons of getting out of the marriage or what I would say uh, Hardly do I hear a woman say that I will marry again. Hardly, man, cause it's it, 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 But hardly will you hear a wife. Let me use the right word. A wife saying, "I won't marry again." Most of the time, it is the husband talking with the friends. She ah, mene, kala yinsi don. Why? It means you have regretted of marrying that lady. Oh, sure, here, kesi. What happened? What are the things that contributed to that Yeshua? So first of all, let us know the marriage, the letter, the word marriage. This is my definition. It's not from anywhere. Yes. If people are writing book, you too, you can write a book. If people are giving definitions to words, you too, you can give your definition. Maintaining a right relationship in a grateful environment. I love it because if you have married, you must create an environment of gratefulness all the time. And that will help the marriage to stand. If you are grateful to your wife, 
your wife is grateful to you, you have created an environment. That is, you appreciate one another. Whatever that happens, you give thanks to God about it. You try to understand the situation, not to go beyond. Above what you are supposed to think. When I was looking into the Bible to find a scripture that has to go with the topic that our brother gave me, marriage without regret. I tried, uh, but I didn't get any scripture. But I found one. I found two. And I found three. And all has to do about what a word that is used to uh, identify marriage or clarify marriage or show something about marriage. And the first one is Genesis chapter 2, verse 18. My brother, give us the text. Genesis chapter 2, verse 18. The Lord God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. In other words, it is good for the man to get a partner. Are you understanding? This is what God said. It is not good for a man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him, which means that it is good. Then we go to the book of Proverbs chapter 18 verse 22 Proverbs 18 22 you must be a little bit faster because of time Proverbs 18 22 he who finds a wife finds what is good and receives favor from the Lord he who finds a wife which also means that we don't take wife. We don't pick wife. We find. You must search. You must look. And no sukraya asema edaho. How did you search for a wife? This is to the men. And in our culture, it is the men who do the approach, but not the women. That is our culture. Is that true? Our former man, Amuaha, won't now go see Wukunupe. May you, your beer, then let us see. I can't know I get me some of my mother. Well, culture, a man, I can get other cultures in other countries. It is allowed. It is the women who does that or who will do that. But in our culture, but there's nothing wrong if you go and see the Bemape. There's nothing wrong. I sometimes, some years back, I've been teaching that with my girls here. That if you see a young man that you think that you are a man, you are a man, and I've been teaching them how the approach is done. Because this is not like ours. You don't go to say, and even to the young men. I tell them that the reason why sometimes the the young girls also try to disapprove your proposal is the approach. How you go about it. How you tell the girl.
Amen. Why a man could know why ya? Jeme, I try Daffy. No, boy, he more than I can show us. Amen. Please bring me back the scripture. He who finds a wife finds what is good. The word good has been repeated here also. Let's go to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 1 and 2. 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 1 and 2. Now for the martyrs ye wrote about. What was the matter? Somebody was talking and they were writing, they were discussing about marriage. About man and a woman. Paul said, now for the matters you wrote about, it is good. The word good has been mentioned here again. It is good for a man not to have sexual relationship with a woman. This one too is that I'm looking at the word good for the subject we are looking at. So if the marriage is a good thing, then why the regrets? If marriage, say ya and sorry, keke se wuni obemba koda. Na niya oshi she o yire no. Ni we niya adepa. Enti awariye wawwe e adepa. Nesa adepa no e jina obasu. Obano a wako fano no a. Wuni na betna no. O ya adepa. Adenti ni obe regreti. Ana ube nu unhu se wawari obano. Wawari sa abemba. Se unya prinsu se ube wari Hello, eh, tui no Eye chen enkrai no meboa Yankani tui ni brofo no mo Chen enkrai no Enkrai no sa ya bebe mo kakra Minfa enkrai ni sofra kakra Ah, ok Shepon gama anoni So, if God has instituted this relationship, this ordinance for man, man. And, then and then go and go and and do for a woman. woman, and then you marry the woman, why do you later say, I have regretted? What? We'll come to that. But let's look at something. One thing that you must notice that the Bible is saying that if you find which has to do with search so in the beginning you must make sure you are searching you are not picking you are not taking and in the search it takes time like those who do research and those things they are doing find, finding out things I mean tell or more memoir when we say Yama was summoned, they give them a longer time to come out with something. We call university one research department. Almost take it time to do their research before they come out with something. And so to the young men, if you are looking for a wife, you are looking for a husband, search it, look for it. Don't just pick it. I tell my young ones here that if you are a young lady and you just live a loose life. The young man will pick you like a stick found in the sun. He just pick it with a leg like this and then he hold it and he begin to play with the stick. But if you behave like a needle that is falling into a sand and the man is looking for it, he will take his time to look for the needle. But if you behave like a wood, like a, a stick, she got Tomo Uti say Panye and what time we are more Obama no bet to the wasi no wash your share because one to the wasi ever one and to obey Siapo train wash your share or who Panye noa or far he will cherish it 
But sometimes because of the way we behave from the beginning, it calls for that regret. Bible is saying that marriage is good. And if you find a wife, you have found a good thing. And God's blessings is endorsed on that relationship. Then why are we worried and we are complaining and we are regretting? Let us look at some few God's creative work was never complete until God made the woman. Obama, Obama. Obama. you know, baby, I tell you, one nana, if not somebody here can, Obama, no, Onyami, and Ren. But Onyami born. Brafumono is different. Pimono is different. Because Nye Obemba ne die Onyami enweno like a porter with the clay. O sheda no ti do tie ene nyami di nyeni Obemba no no de ne tinti na. Sometimes I do some illustration at weddings. I call a lady. I call a man. You walk here and let's see. Obemba ni nantia ube use waye bawe no flexibility wo bemba won because dotie ye di dotie ene ye di nwen yen but oba ne die ye di honam ene do mpe ene ye di bo no enti oba na mo wa wo se oba na ekwe ni body nyina e ye flexible bibia ya kono and I've been saying here that when it is wedding time, whom do we look for? Obemba ne bakro obie hun ye. Nobody is mindful about the groom. Ofi hono a oba no. Asemo a pasada and baby sa no obie ya no 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 no. Obie a nshe no. Obie a nshe ha. Mwani ye nshe no no. Oba no. Now, Banner Ba, now who see, see no other ban. No beer, no he, he, Obama Ben, no ba, a man for Jim Bonoso. Oh, no, no, Banan Gaza, why a tari when he see Jimuna, the Namana, no flexibility, no sign of Bibia, but Obana, dear, no beer any sinner. So, when you miss that, and no ball or ba, and any more Bema. It is not good for you to get a partner. So if you are married, it is a blessing. And you should say, "Wow, wow!" Now, when men so now far worry, and only as them, when men so and now far they worry, many men are just okay. You in she, okay, no in she. How did you get involved in the marriage? It is very, very important. The common definition that is accepted in the passing of marriage is that marriage is a formal union, marriage is a social union, marriage is a legal union, or a women between two individuals. Psychologically, marriage is the process by which two individuals make their relationship public, official, and permanent. And it and is the joint of two mature personalities in the bond. Psychologically, this is how they look at marriage. Spiritually, marriage is the vision of God for mankind to show his son Christ's relationship with the church. And for me, I always base my argument and everything on the spiritual side. And if you get that revelation, I tell you, there will never be a regression in your marriage. And I'm going to explain that. I said spiritually, marriage is the vision of God for mankind 
to show his son's relationship with the church. Let's now look at it. If you have a vision, do you allow somebody to play with that vision? If you don't get serious people who will identify themselves with your vision, they will kill it. They will destroy it. And so, God's vision was that when he instituted the marriage in the garden, he was looking forward to the day when his son Jesus will marry the church. That is why God has in the book of Ephesians chapter 5 from verse, and most of the time when ministers are preaching from there, they leave verse 21. Then they start from, from 22. Wives, submit to your... But verse 21 says, submitting to one another. And so always men are demanding submission from their wife. That has a different meaning altogether. You need to also submit to your wife. Just as your wife will submit to you. But there is a kind of submission that your wife has to do unto you, the man. But when you come to the normal submission, we are supposed to submit to one another. And this has become a thing in our culture. And Christians have bought that idea. When they marry, they sit down, everything, woman, Obano, Obano, Obano. No. Marriage, marriage is God's vision. vision. And, and so, so if you have your own vision and you will not allow somebody to, to downtrod then your vision, so, so God, God will not will be not happy, happy if you are mishandling your marriage. marriage. God is very, very jealous about the institution. Very jealous about marriage. And therefore, we need to go by the vision of God. And second Corinthians, I think first or second Corinthians chapter eleven, verse nine says the woman was created for the man, but not the man for the woman. And unti awadie no se ye pese ye tena mu aye nu ye ho no wo hwa wo he amie won na like no more eh how do you say it vision you mo ni na mo ni no ne de ni na mo ni e wo wo no mo ni e no wo ye no ha e ke ko ba tawo e tawo mo lo jogba ko tawo na nga tawo mu ka ya ko Beauty is what? Vague. No, God, oh, no, 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 because no no common oh, in your family like, like I'm teaching teach teach my own. Yes, yeah. Your Obani can the princess in one. Your princess today will be the tigress tomorrow. And your and prince today, today will be the lion tomorrow. So when you are at age, age you want, want to get, get your back. Marriage, marriage is a lifetime, lifetime thing for we Christians, not the world. But we children of God, when you pick it, then you are picking something. But when, when you find it, it, and that takes time, prayer, you invest many things into it. Prayer, patience, purity. What are you? Then, then Every now and then, you ask the man whose vision you are implementing. 
And but many a times, the moment we see that the year of the woman has turned some way, oh, David, no, it shouldn't be that. Marriage is God's vision for man to fulfill his purpose of for son marrying the church one day to come. That which makes marriage union sustainable, sanctity, and satisfactory, according to Ephesians chapter 5, are the vision for the marriage, the value of the marriage, and the virtues for the marriage. For our children, we will do that. We will come to the main thing. Marriage as God ordained it is good and must be held as such. But where and how then come regrets after the marriage? Number one. Marriage regrets regret. will come or can come depending on, on the consideration of the choice that you make for your life. Considering the choice When it, when it comes, comes to marriage, marriage it, it is, is the, the choice, choice of the individual and your choice shall determine your future and your destiny. Say, Bana Waria, and your one Casa Niawu Pau, Niawu Fa, Nenu Sebe, we Sebe, Yemu Bebre, Yawari, actually, and Sebe. I walk on pony so, and until you know your own. Yawari, say, you know your own. And what you more. If we are regretting in the marriage, we must first look back, consider how you made the choice. And how you made the choice, we want to look at. Where did you, did you make, make the choice? Why that particular choice? How did you make the choice? Because the choice that you are making on the part of the man or the husband, Bible says the lady is going to be your helper. Yes, that is what Bible says in Genesis. I will make you a helper. So, so if you are finding, it means you are finding a woman who will be a helper to you, both present and future. And that and is that why, why he says, if you find it, you have found a good thing. Empty. So when you are there, for what you quit today, bring a mushia mohono. And he na mushia wo. Ne ba ne sain na wari ne ba so. Sometimes you hear a young man go for. In fact, not all those who say according to Matthew seven, not all those who say the Lord will enter into the into the kingdom. And so, not all Christians that you see that you say they are man. man. Today, they are pretenders in the church. Many of them, both the male and the female. You see the addressings on the part of the man. Sometimes you see the man, so very powerful praise and worship leader. Ha, Say this guy, if I get him as my husband, oh boy, oh yeah, the apple You see the way, the way he walks into the church, the way he dresses, the way he does things. They say, ah, this lady, 
Then you tell your friends, Where Charlie, be me a hummy. Jesus is the one who is among you. Where you pick your spouse to be is very important. Those of us who are already in the marriage. How did I meet my wife? I will tell you. Because of the visitors here, but some of you, the members, have told you already. When I when was, I was in Sumeru, I was very Listen to me. That is but I I you, you, you can disagree with me. You will still go to heaven because you have faith in Christ. Not faith in marriage, but faith in Christ. But if you disagree with what I'm coming to say, it will never hinder you from entering into the kingdom. My philosophy is that God doesn't give anybody wife. God doesn't give anybody husband. It's your choice. It's your choice. And don't think I will If you said God gave you the lady, why, why the regression? Does God give bad things to his people? James 1 17, I said, every good and every perfect gift cometh from above. God loves us so much that he will not give you. Ever since Adam blamed God, he said, God, it is the woman you gave me. Then God closed the docket. One time I was teaching and then one of the young men asked me, but why is it that the Bible says, the steps of the righteous are ordered by God. We have every quotation in the Bible to cover our desires and whatever we want to do. If you want to interpret scripture, read the whole. Order your steps. I told the young man, if God order your steps, he will order you out to where they all have his daughters are. And he will tell you, Abel, Abel. these are all my daughters but the choice is yours God will not pick it for you no one will say I'm a blemish like I don't and then it was time for Isaac to marry he said go home and when he said he prayed pray. and he said oh, let me be here do this God yes but don't say that and let me go inside that thing and say when Isaac Eliezer brought Rebecca to Isaac. I did I don't know the lady. In fact, the Bible just told us that Sarah, sorry, Rebecca saw him and he asked Eliezer, who is that man walking there? And he said, that is my master, the man you are going to marry. And so he covered her face with a veil. That is the significance of the weddings. The man has not known you before. So you cover your face. See, I will go. Then he referred by wisdom. I tried to tell him. Then he referred back. Can go back to Mobile for weather, for west, for richer, for poorer. In sickness, in the area. No, no, no. The foundation is not right. And when he took Rebecca to the house, the Bible says to the mother's tent, and Rebecca comforted him when the mother died. That was the wife of the Lord's What did he do? He didn't blame He didn't blame his father in the that was the same thing to the Dealing with the negativities, discoveries of the negativities in your marriage. Dealing with the discoveries of negativities in your marriage. Christian, for and Sanya, 
But today, 99% they take steps for you to come to God. And so why are the ministers in their hands and they are now listening? They are receiving S. Because they are not faithful. And sometimes when these things happen, it can affect the relationship because God has withdrawn. We must learn to wait and be patient to the young men I'm speaking to the young ladies. But to those who are not for if you can remember, I was speaking to you for God. Grandma, don't blame anybody. Remember the beginning of your relationship. What went on? How did you relate? The so called, what you call it today, dating and courting. How does it go? go? Where did you pick the lady? And what was happening in your relationship? God is watching you. Bible says, 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 in chapter 6 he said wherefore come out from among them and be ye separate know that you are a separated person if in, in the course of, of your relationship from the beginning you, you mess up go to back to God and complain to God he's a merciful God don't regret don't say that I won't marry him again I won't marry her again go back to God and talk to God about it I know that you are attention to how I want my wife. So all that I'm saying, you are not listening. But whether I tell you or not, we are still living. Yes. Almost for the years, we are still living. But that is the diameters are but grace is helping us through. Go to God and everything. And let me go to you. One day I went home. And my cousins were plaiting her hair. I have prayed. I was not hearing anything from God. But as soon as I greeted them and I turned, then I heard her voice telling my cousins, Hey, I'm going to be a man when you are. And I'm going to be a man when you are. And I'm going to be a man when you are. God, could it? This one. God didn't say that she's the one. But I listened to the voice and I said, Could it be? And so Before another time, I was, I was, the I was sitting with my dad and with my auntie who brought me to Accra. And she was passing in front of us. Then my auntie told my dad, Who is this girl? Can't you take her hand for your son? I said, second confession. Then the third one. Look, the Bible says, at the mouth of two or three witnesses, the case is discovered. The third one, that I was going to be the minister of the ring. I was sitting there and I was supposed to say something. When I came there, it was her brother, who was my friend in the village. and. We chat, chat. When she got tapped out, and it was leaving, it was going to die. And then the picture fell from the diary. And lo and behold, it was her picture. I have a picture to take it. And so, this one. I said it has been confirmed. I need not to worry in prayer. Now it is action time. And she was trying to bluff somewhere. A man in Nasa Namote initially, you want to show that you are somebody. Meanwhile, that is open. Anyway, then the Lord, by his grace, we were brought together. 
as husband and wife and it has never been easy and me because I don't know what I was doing when I'm not going to do my life but I have a relationship that I gave my mother so I told her that I would give my mother to prepare my life so I gave her a foundational scriptures for that she has been reading, I've been reading, and that is what was helping us in our day-to-day -day life. Those scriptures can be there, but it helped us, and we live our life until we came together as husband and wife. And when we came together to child issue was a problem, but God glorified himself. There is nothing that is impossible with God. Don't say, I will marry again. Don't regret it. If you are regretting, regret it on the deeds that are happening. Not on your wife. Not on your husband. But the issues that are happening. And I always say, when couples sit before me with problems, I always say that because I'm also a husband and I know what is marriage, I say, Papa, trouble affair, Jabu. People don't agree. We say, but Pastor, you, you don't know certain women. Who went for her? That is the question. You say, I don't know the woman. But who went for her? Maybe even when you were going for her, you were told that be careful. And you look at their nantu and their slay and their buttocks and their, and their breasts and the facial expression, the earrings, and the eye shadows, and all those kind of things. The, the Obronuwawu nails that he was having at the finger. And you were dying for it. You didn't listen. So who went for the woman? So I always blame men, not the women. Because you went for her. And so, like one of our uh, presidents, one of our first one, and the next struggle means you must be patient, you must be prayerful, and you must work with the word of the Lord about the situation. Yes, I know it's very, very difficult, but, but there is nothing you can do now. So you must know where you consider the, the, the choice that you have made. Where did you pick it? Why, why did you take that particular, particular man? Particular man, particular man, particular man. Particular man. Why? Why did you see? And what did you hear? What did you feel about it? My question that I ask people, aspiring couple, is that what is your conviction about this man or this woman? What is your conviction? Tell me, convince me about the choice that you have He is very caring. <laughs> He's very. Come, my boy, I can hear you. I'm going to phone you. He's very caring. Okay, I is no, not going to carry. I don't know, because you are you ice cream now. He's scared. He's scared. <laughs> no, you women, you are easily deceived with these petty, petty things. Especially now, it is the mobile phones. When he calls and they call, you pretend as if you have not seen the call. When he asks you, oh, I'm going to go to the phone. i you are bound that is why I will tell you young man, young lady be careful what you receive from the man how have you been relating since you accepted the proposal there is a question there when, where how and what that is the interrogation during your relation, your courtship, and your dating. When were you seen? Apasomo, ayasinya. Banyenye, buboe. What were you doing when they saw you? Nanekome kananen. Nabuke na. You know what I'm doing. You know what I'm doing. In short, and I've been saying that if you are you the young men, listen to me and the youngest, teach you young girls, if you are not married yet, 
and you begin to show these marital things to the man. But now, Flo Sabolai. But now, Flo. But now, Flo. But now, Shio Kenana Blahi. So, Moni Ahoye, Chokoniam, not Black Blahi. But now, I offer him a friend. Why you have not married? And the young man has tasted all these things from your hands. Now, when you bring you to his house after the marriage, I want to eat banku and pepper. You do it and you put it down. He looks at it and says, Okwanda Danimu, Okwanda Danimu. That is where regression begins to start. Because he has learned everything about you already. How to cook, how to do this, how to do that. So, our young people will say, Tabwara Tietia, slow down. And we are Christians. And sometimes this thing cause trouble that you regret. Had I know, had I know, we are not going to do this. Had I know, we should know for now. Courting and dating has to do with learning the dislikes and the likes of each other. You watch the man. How does he behave when you are walking? How does the lady talk when you are relating? How does he dress? How does he Sometimes but sometimes because of the money we give you you overlook these petty petty things you the lady you uh, the man you visit the girl's house and you see how things are faring in the house do you like me and my wife I told her that look when we eat, I hate the, the dishes that are piled up for the next day to be washed. I hate it. I don't want to see it. And so they don't do it. No, Oba uko ware no uko ni fia. Nchen siya ye didi mo. Oba ma no su uko ni fia. Natari ya bako da ha. Nempo buwa bako sen ha. Ne socks bako da ha. You go and arrange them. The next three days you go there. The same thing. The next three days you went there. The same thing. What are you learning? So, so when you come to the marriage and the, the marriage is like that, that is what I call habit. Habit is different from character. And so learn. Don't just say because of his money, because he has got his three bedroom house. No. Marriage is a lifetime thing. Until death do as part according to God's holy don't worry don't regret go to God in prayer the songwriter I like the way Pastor Dan has been singing it but me I sing it the whole thing all because we do carry Return to God in prayer. We should carry it to God in prayer. Know where you pick the lady, you pick the man. What did you tell him before you accepted the proposal? Here in this church, when we are about to marry, we call two parties your parents, his parents. They come to meet us, the pastors. And we take them through questionnaires, questions that we have said. We ask, ask them to be satisfied. And one day, there was a gentleman who wanted to marry. 
The boy was from here. But the lady was from Apostolic Church. And then, when the parents came, then the question went on. Then we reached a place. And I asked the girl's parent, do you know this young man? They said, yes. Have you met him and you have asked him, find out things from him that you are satisfied? They said, yes. Are you okay to give your daughter to this man? They said, yes. Then I came to the question, mama, when you met this boy who is coming to marry your daughter, did you find out from him what work is doing? <laughs> I a businessman. I'm not a And I say, I say, uh -huh. And you know me. Me, I'm called Kane Nyankwa. I won't hide it. Because I know the brother from this church that is a driver to a manager. And that manager loves him so much that he's so suit for him to wear to drive him. And whenever the manager goes to work and he sends him, then he will use the manager's car with a briefcase to the girl's house with the mother. And when he gets down, businessman. <laughs> and I told the mother, look, mama, I know you. He's a bad man. But he's speaking the truth. And so there and there and then the man. Because, because the first place, he has told me And so, so he has that a man is a businessman and a businessman not a Proper a businessman with a business with suit. So some, some of these things you do to save the situation. Another time, when they came, the mother and the mother, they were looking at their face in my office. And then the other one asked, Nebiyehu. And the other said, Nebiyehu. Not knowing the boy and the girl, they are coming from the same home. But they don't know. They have made themselves and they want to marry. So there and there, the marriage ended. Are we doing good or we are doing bad? So if something like this happened, then you go and you said you have regretted. Let us be very, you the young ones, for us, we have already gone ahead. You are coming. Don't live a regretful life. Be very, very wise and be very, very smart for the Lord is on your side. And those of us who are inside, it's also not too late. Let us send it to God. For with him, all things are possible. How the choice was made, Philippians 4, 6, and 7. That has been my primary text for choosing a partner. The Bible says, be careful for nothing. Listen to the scripture very well. My brother put it on the screen. Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Be careful. Okay, this is a... Uh, Another verse, this is an ivy, I'm supposed. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, look at it. In every situation, put me the King James, I like that one. Or the, the, be careful for nothing, but in everything. Be careful for nothing, but in everything. Think about it. When you are reading scriptures, look at words. They are very, very important. Be careful for nothing including marriage. Don't worry. Don't be anxious about it. But in everything, also including marriage, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let that your request be made known to God. Verse 7. And the peace of God. It didn't say the peace from God. There are two things. But the peace and the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your heart and minds through Christ Jesus. So with your non-anxiousness but prayer and supplication with the Lord as you walk with the boy, as you walk with the girl, there can be some kind of peace within you. If you are not receiving forget about yourself with that boy. This is the solution. 
if you want to make a choice, let this guide you. The peace within you. Not because of material things, but, but because, because you are free, free and you have handed over everything to God. The peace of God will be with you. Even if you have not seen him, 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 him for one week, you still have that peace. When you are talking on the phone, you have that peace. But when there is doubt, then you are in for trouble. That one, if you are already experiencing it, I'm commanding you and I'm commanding you with authority. Run away from it. Because you fall yourself into something and the regression should surface. God did not make marriage that we should go in and regret. We should go in and enjoy the marriage. We are not supposed to endure marriage. We are supposed to enjoy marriage to the fullness as we wait for the coming of Christ to come and take us home as his bride. The choice must be the true helper and the head at all times. Now the question comes, is your husband truly the head? Those of us who have married. Is your husband truly your head? Those men that have married, is your wife truly the helper? This is what God said. The wife is a helper. In fact, it is because of the sin that Eve committed. God, God the whole thing. But from the beginning, they were helpers. And if somebody is coming to your home to help you, do you offload the burden on the person? No. But because of Eve's sin, if you go to chapter 3, it said there, it said, now your desire shall be of your husband. But the beginning, that was not God's plan. But because of sin, and so now the women also have taken up uh, uh, Beijing 20 something. What did they say? Uh, uh, Beijing conference. What was the statement made? What the man can do now they are saying the woman can do better. They have added better to it. And so now there is friction in the house. The wife is CEO. The man is CEO. So who submits to who? The woman comes home with fires because she couldn't complete the work. The man also comes home with fires because the assignment is very great. So who cooks? Then they have maid. Isn't it? So the maid is doing everything. I pray God should help me. Baby, I may do it here. Say, may the power. From the beginning. In fact, I always thought of it. When she travels, my daughter, my daughter is yeah. grown. We must learn to know that if you are a husband, you are the head. And these days, if people are going to marry, I give them assignment. Go and write seven things. Each one any more no. It's two only be power. Maybe papa. Yangma, including scriptures. No keba, koba, no pass here. You are oba, oba bless marriage. Yes. You should marry a man who knows the word. Don't marry the man who knows how to dance. Marry somebody who is very good at the word and prayer. That when there is a problem, they can go to scripture. And find solution from the word of God. And then they come to God in prayer. That is it. So I give that assignment. Seven things. This literal head. It does seven things. Maybe power. papa. Good things. I will give you as I go and write. And find scripture. Because the Bible says that Christ is the head of the church. Just as the husband is the head of the wife. 
And what has Christ been doing for the church? They are all in the scriptures. So go and look for it and write them. There was a guy from Pentecost when he wanted to marry here. I gave that assignment. It was seven times. He was not getting it. Seven times. When I heard him, he got that information. Every now and then he has to say, So for what boy, my papa? I never knew this. And Kabadista Munawari Krangabia Ejija. It is good to know the truth, and the truth will do what? To free. So marry a man who knows the truth, the word. Who could not win anything? Mokai Radia said, Mobompire. Do you go to church together? Do you pray together? Do you stay in the world together? That will help to alleviate the crisis in the marriage. I know somebody has a question on you. You will surely ask it. But take this and it will help you. Now let's also look at the second one. The second one has to do with consciousness of commitment. If you want to avoid regression in the marriage, take heed to the commitment. Even if you have not come to the altar, remember why you have to be here. You have to be the father has collected it but it is you who is going that day you have made a commitment to live with the man now when you come to the altar here the minister leads you then you begin to say I Joseph tip in time take you Georgina Lawe to be my lawful wedded wife to live together after God's holy ordinance I will love you I will do this I will do that I will do that what do you have to see those words that you have spoken those words are your commitment words that binds you together so they take the ring I give you this ring as a token of my love to the vows and the commitment I have made with you and with this ring I marry you and with all my worldly goods I did endow including myself amen what god has joined together let no man then you step outside from here then you begin to face the challenges what do you do remember your commitment you said yes i will marry you he called rebecca his parent asked him, Rebecca, will you go? So every marriage I ask here, Aula, Obaya, Sofomaya, Oyangbe, me Jojo Shia. That means you are ready to go. It affirms your commitment to go and live with a man. And that is exactly what happens between Naomi and Ruth. Commitment. It's very, very important. Our Lord Jesus Christ that we said, he himself made a commitment and it came to a point, he realized that that commitment, because of that commitment, he needs to address the father. Father, not as I said, but you are being be done. And the Bible says that as moment he said that, angels came and ministered to him. I pray that an angel will come and minister to you in that situation that you find so difficult and it is leading you to regret of marrying that man, marrying that woman. Remember the choice that you made and remember the commitment that you have made. There is no turning back. 
when it comes to Christian marriage. Yes, sometimes the challenges we have been hearing these days, husbands are killing their wives. Somebody came to me and he was asking, I said, my sister, after all, when you die, yeah, well, I, I, I know you will die. When you leave, you will surely leave, but you will die. So if you have died for the truth, I'm not saying that stay in it to die. We do counsel and take decision. Either you can separate for a while, but not divorce. And most of the time, it has happened in this assembly by three, two. Somebody who really, really spoke to my face like he want to speak into my face. I sat down and quiet and talked, 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 talked. And pa, he went away. After seven years that they have separated, he came to my office and knelt down. Pastor, I beg you, can you help me to get my wife? When a neighbor naked go on la mioha le wham. But I followed him. We went, we spoke. Then he says, Pastor, echo. He gets his time. He's taking my hand now. If he's gone. Made him a life, echo jinan. And thank God, there is peace. Beloved, there is no need for you to run away from the marriage. There's no need for you to regret the marriage. If the man said he doesn't want you, seek for a pastor, a counselor, blah, 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 whatever, so that proper thing is done. Most of the time, things go to the court. The reason it goes to the court is that your marriage that you came to do here you have registered with the government. And so the government must also dissolve the marriage. So there is a law there. You men that doesn't know. Today I'm sounding to you. If you have wedded your wife, matrimony, signed at the courts, registrar general, amma, whatever, and you go and marry another woman. In their law, it is called bigamy. And you are liable for seven years imprisonment when, you, when the matter goes to court. And you will be fined, I've forgotten the amount, some big amount that you pay and you go to prison. Don't go to prison and leave your children. Come to God in prayer. I want to pr believe that you will go back and work on your marriage so that nobody, hear me, the final thing you can never forget is that nobody can solve your marital problem except yourself. Nobody. We will talk. Me, in my counseling, when you come, the first thing, I say, my sister, my brother, all that I'm saying to you it is your will that has the power. And I refer to scripture. Me, my counseling, everything is Bible. Go to the word of God. God said, Adam, don't eat this fruit. The day you will eat, you will die. Is it not a counseling? As soon as God turned away, then Cody Nemo was okay. Did God say you should not eat of anything? Oh, God knows that the day you will eat, you will be like him. Your eyes will be open. You come closer. Come closer. You touch it. And, and you plug it. You eat it. And their eyes were open. And they saw that they were naked. In fact, Adam can't because it is God who has done that thing. And it will never happen that we will be conceived for nine months. No. But because of sin, these things come. And that has made us to have that limitations and shortcomings and repressions about things in the humanity. May the Lord help us. We will not regret marrying. 
but we will ask God to help us take this step. I said it is we who not to give you. And so we that we be subject to the will of God, which is the word of God, and it shall be no counselor in this world who will be able to make your mind When he when speak, speak like what? PhD counselors, CK counselors, QR counselors, all that he will say is not greater than what God told him at hand. And that is we and his wife made them to sin. So it is what we bring up the of the world. Not saying that I'm perfect in my marriage. But whatever that he does, this is my wife, whenever, in fact, after the marriage, I say that I'm the number one trouble in the marriage in my head. For me, I am she also knows me. Recently, he told me that he said that. What about that? What is that? For me, he said, but for me, I know that sometimes I trouble her. Sometimes I give her a little bit of a, uh, trouble. And any time I do that, when I get home and I hear her singing Methodist hymns, and I know the trouble. Everything you do, can you sing that song? Yes, especially when they do song. Whenever I hate her, then she will be. As soon as she sing it, then I know that I've caused trouble. And if I've caused trouble, I have to work on it. And sometimes this is what I do. This is practical. I begin to think about three days ago what happened. Why did I tell her? Did he ask something and I didn't do? I begin to ask. And then the Holy Spirit will prompt me about certain things. Then we will talk over. We are finished. Even this morning, it happened. Yes. Me and me and your and the wife. This is the No, Eba. Oba nyocha. Osima si ohami. Hallelujah. Oh, can we continue, brother? It's detailed. Very detailed. She now can be a gokemba. We will now give time for some questions. We will give time for some questions. So please, if you have a question, please don't give sermons before your questions. We want to take as many questions as possible. So, let's do it snappy. Please just get up. Come to the microphone. I 
Can we have a second person coming here, please? If you have a question, you can still walk forward. Please continue with your question. Thank you very much, Pastor. I believe it's been a share. I appreciate it. Um, uh, my my question is about... Um, I still have a question, but I think I'll prefer some clarity uh, practical examples when it comes to Submitting to one, one another, and then why submitting to their husbands? Because I believe, as any of us here, or all of us here, all have a version as to how to submit to one another, or as to how wives submit to their husbands. I'm asking this because women submit in fear. Um, why am I saying this? Sometimes you try to talk to a woman, just to encourage her to do something, and then she'll say that, hey, you should be a girl, if you want to be a girl, you should 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 be a girl. So then you realize that there's that kind of fear, and that their understanding to it is submission. So I would prefer if you give some practical examples uh, in relation to being submitted to one another, and then wives submitting to husbands. Thank you very much. I hope you are submitting to you see the submission that the Bible says wives submit you are submitting to the authority of your husband the authority of your husband as the head just as you submit to the authority of Christ that is it the second aspect is that when it comes to the second submission, it has to do with sexual relationship. You need to submit to your husband when it comes to that. Now, your husband's submission as Paul made is simply identifying the situation with you. In our culture, Men are not supposed to wash. But a man born of the spirit, born of the word, will do that. In fact, my wife is here. You asked him, what was the last time? Excuse me. Don't get excuse me. Am I telling lies? Oh, Pastor Dan, should I say excuse? Psychology say excuse. Free Okay. When was the last time she reported a country for herself? Ask him. Last time since we got married, the last time she went to the market and bought panties for herself. It's a form of submission. I'm identifying myself. You see, my reason of doing that, I want to see the panties that I love, not what she likes. Yes. Because the body, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, he said, when you marry, your body does not belong to you, but it's for your husband. And the husband's body does not belong to you. It's for the, and for, for me, I'm not I'm a shame. I'm trying to find a one of the members of the He said, oh, pastor. And then I told the woman, yes, in wife, yes, I stop on you. Yes, I'm not Except a man who is full of the spirit and the way, he cannot submit to certain things. I eat, and sometimes I do eat. What's what's that? What is wrong with it? Is it another way of submission? Well, and as I do that, I am thinking of me. And my friend George Annan, our former general secretary, said, "If you want your wife to help you in the night." Help her during the day. And, and I, I, I talk to you that, that it is very important. You must do something. But you, 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 you
From office, you are not a director. You are a husband and you are a father. I remember one day, after we had done four days in this church, we are finished. Sunday, Sunday after we went home. home. Then, then the morning, 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 I told them that we are going we are to have our fast. Then we are going to have our fast. He came to he came me, he said, he said, he said, he said he what? We are going to fast seven days after the 40 days. I want you to know that we are not your church. We are your family. And it, it was, was a sense to me. He told me the house is not a church. It's a family. family. So, as, as a father, father I, I submitted it. Because, because I remember that what you said, I'm before you did it. We are going to do it. Maybe there are certain things your wife will tell you you need to listen. When you listen, you have submitted. That is it. It doesn't mean that you are, excuse me, stupid or you are a fool. You are very wise. And, and, and that's what the scripture will tell you. I hope I will make some sense. sense. Are you okay? okay? Or you I want, want more? Okay. okay. Thank then you. Next. Another question from... Uh, please let the lady ask before you come. You are a pastor. So you sit down. Let the lady ask. Please check the mic. Nakoja is looking for a wife. <laughs> But the mic No. So, you made a Change the mic. Hello. Yeah, please. You made mention that when you met her, you had the convention that you'd be a man of God. Thank you very much for that powerful word. Um, I want to know, as a young man, you may mention of a scripture that is not everyone that calls God, 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 that is a kind of thing. And he said, there are some people in the church that are attendance. As a young man, I want to know if I decided to go in for the day, whether she is pretending to be, I want to know how I can discover it. I want to know how whether she is pretending to me. Yeah. Whether she is what? Pretending. pretending. Yeah. But, but in the first place, the temptation will come from the three pieces. Don't be anxious. Because, because you saw the, saw the lady. lady. Sometimes the tendency is that if I don't go in quick, somewhere else will come. And so with speed, then you then move for it. Then later you realize that you have made a hasty uh, decision. That is where I said if you rush into marriage, you get rushes. But uh, the scripture says that the peace of God that surpasses understanding will keep your heart and your mind through Christ about that decision not only marriage but even your career everything everything that you are praying about so that peace that you will get will make you know that you have made the right choice and, and the thing that we are talking about why are you are in church and you are sitting the lead don't do the approach to you begin to pray <laughs> For me, in this matter, I told you a certain long, 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 long
she doesn't want to marry excuse me to say a man who has already had an issue a child so when he brought the man that he want to marry i asked her are you sure he has no child anywhere he said pastor i've asked he said he has no. said, okay bring him when he brought him my talk with the man i sense it there is something hiding so i told the lady i'm giving you three days go and fast and pray and talk to god that lord please show me the true nature and character of this man i want to i said three days the first day she came back he said pastor i dreamt and he told me the dream he was going to the young man's house and somebody came out from the room with a cloth on the chest with a chamber pot with urina in it and the woman said ah uh, she's on the neighbor the lady told me i said i give you three days so go and fast the next two days second day he didn't see anything the third day which was sunday she saw the same thing and he came back then with wisdom from god i told her go and buy some items because he has shown you to the mother before so buy some items provisions go and visit the mother don't mention it but because you have prayed god will use the mother for you to know something she went and, and talked talk to the boy's mother, mother every day, blah, blah. when the when mother, mother, mother was to see her off at the entrance of the gate then the mother said hmm me pacho adibine hami me bako eku wawu nasi akodano onji into me srao aya winin in kasa and the lady said, Sir, when the Yami Boy is a warrior, and then the Bekasa, near Quadia Quadan. Then Tom, 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 you came to my office. He said, Pastor. <laughs> so everything is by prayer. Go reveal secrets. Call unto me. I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. So I called a young man. We sat down and wait by God's grace. I made it no, and she started. So I said, now, now sister, sister, the choice is yours. If you want to do, I said, so we are separated. And they separated. The sister is married, and he's living with your husband. So it is prayer and your conviction with the peace of God inside you. Don't do the way sister stands. We see that kind of thing. Thank you, Pastor. Pastor Francis. Uh, let me say that I can't answer all your questions. I'm not saying that the question you ask, but there are certain questions you ask. I will tell you what I have. But that will not satisfy you. You go and pray, and God will help you. Amen. Amen. Okay. Hello. Thank you, Pastor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sitting I'm sitting with you, but I'm not hearing. The sound, sound looks, looks different, different on the platform. platform. My dear, I have a question. But no, 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 Yes, yes, yes. Now we have technology. We have so many problems as far as phone, usage of phones are concerned. Now you have a situation where the phone has become almost everything. And there are motivational speakers who will tell you your phone is a private phone, it's your own, so your spouse doesn't have a right to your phone. And this is creating a lot of problems in homes. I want to know, if a husband and a wife, there is anything more private than engaging your wife, or having, let's, let me put it bluntly, having sex with your wife, if there is anything more private than that, now the phone has become more private that a man cannot touch a woman. And the, and the woman, woman cannot touch a man. A woman is going to the bar 
with a phone under her head. Sleeping with a phone under her head. And they are saying it is a right to have a phone without the parents having access to it or even children. So the phone has become like a god that has secret on the phone. And I believe if you have nothing to hide, why should your husband or your wife have a, have a problem? You round it up, please. Yeah, of touching your phone. I want to know your take on this one. You have answered your question. But let me add a little bit to you. Like he said, beloved, we are Christians who. And the Bible has said that the two shall become three. If no, why the third fool? That you say is my private. You want what? Look, 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 this woman, even my children, not even my, 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 my children, they have access, access to my phone. To my phone. Because, because I don't have any secret. Means not that I say myself, I don't know what is secret. That is why you are saying to you. Can we be secret? Can we be? It's no more secret. Why do you? And you know, sometimes I will be in the washroom, the, the phone will be belly, and she will be in the bedroom. I say, my dear, oh, no, what can you do? Uh, 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 no, 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 read you message everything my children read everything on my phone because I don't have any secrets uh, what you call wallet I send money if a member calls and he didn't I send money my children they see they, they don't say anything my wife doesn't say anything because you know this is the man Why do you have to say this is my private food? So my husband should not touch it. What kind of business are you doing? That your husband should not do. Who are you engaged with that your wife should not know? That is the problem. And this is bringing problem in many, many homes because of mobile phone including laptops uh, don't touch it I have my private business what is that private business that your husband should not know so if something happened who do, would they call let us resign from these things let your husband know everything that you have so on the day of your wedding you said all that I have and all that I am this is what we say. All that I have and all that I am we share together from today in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You have committed yourself. So why then do you say, this is my fault? Don't touch it. Sometimes I buy phone on my this thing and before I realize the owners of than justice to the credit on it. I don't talk. They are mine. And why, why, what will I do? So please, I want to beg. We should not allow mobile phones and technology to separate the marriage because we shall appear before God. And let me say this. Marriage will give account on it. Not your children. Not your father. Not your mother but with your husband because of the covenant that is in it. Malachi chapter 2 verse 14 and 15 he says I'm a witness to the wife of thy youth with whom you have made a covenant. And Job 31 says I made a covenant with my eyes open." So why then are you hiding secrets? And Jesus himself said 
For this cause, you will leave your father and mother, join to your wife, and the two, you shall become one. One in everything. If you allow, you allow to, see your to see your naked, naked you or or for you. Judge it for yourself. Oh, no, hey, can't see Change your mind. Repent. And live at peace. Thank you. Thank you. Two more questions, please. Two, just two. And thank you, and God bless you. I miss your teaching. I miss your teaching a lot. So today, I'm very much blessed. Amen. Um, um, in the context of submission, uh, a situation where uh, a young man. Who won't make me talk? And he found out a lady that is educated than him and well to do more, well, 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 than him. Uh, Reverend, what do you make of that? You know, how will he impact the marriage in the area of submission? Are you talking about the married or they are now going to marry? No, I'm talking about a young man who is about to make a talk. He's about, about to make a choice. The lady is going to be more complicated and more well-to-do. More well to well do. Well to do. <laughs> but the guy who is here, he's going to make a choice. 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 Excuse me. What is that? Mia. But Oyobia Odimu. Now we say Okwa Kwa Wano. Wa Ubebe No Kura No Usuru. But except you have that conviction that it will be well. There are women that are very very respectful and humble, and they would like to. They would like to live with you. But there are others to invert. That's why I would say about 80% they are not going to do. 50% will be good to do. So it's all depend you and counseling or to get before getting into it. The lady is spoken to you and you must declare the identity. Your faithful identity, don't say you are a businessman by yourself. You must say that I am a carpenter and I finished JHS, but I love you and many jewels. If the lady said, Come, fine, but I will not advise those things. Anymore. For me, I will not advise such situations because it can create problems for you. Except a lady who is really born again and filled with the spirit. Other than that, Yatao Monegbe GHS No clients. Besides, thank you very much, Reverend. I think that would be that would said be. two people. Is there no who? Okay. But let me end with this. Okay. Beloved, I want to say tomorrow we will hear more things in practical aspects so I so I don't audience audience but everyone speaks to you but pray and let the Lord help you in your choice making and in your relationship with your husband and your wife there shall be a change I said there shall be a change. Nia wukum peno and yet na we usum peno and yet don't talk anyhow. Tomorrow we shall dive into some of the causes that brings about the regression. On language. Kasa. Namishro Bibia. Thank you. Thank you very much, Reverend. God bless you.
Can we please respectfully stand as the seats? Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Please can you see it? I remember about a month or so to my wedding when I gave him the date for the wedding. He asked me one question. He said, Michael, is the date okay for you? I said, Pastor, yes. He said, have you checked the date? I said, yes. He said, are you sure? I said, yes. I told you the man is detailed when it comes to marriage. These three questions, I didn't understand. I said, yes. When we were doing the signing of a certificate, then he came to me. Michael, is the date okay for you? I said, yes. Are you sure? I said, yes. Ah, then I raised my hand and looked at me. Dad, me you know that will okay me. The, are you sure there are not some people on the field? The rest, I will tell you tomorrow. Because he, he said something again. And that I've never forgotten. I will tell you tomorrow. Daddy, God bless you. All the teaching materials that he used will be made available to everybody for free tomorrow. So we'll take it, type it out, print it nicely. Then tomorrow you can distribute it free. Then please, I'm sure there are a lot of questions also to come. Um, Gibbons, please put your, there was a up there. If you have any questions between now and 1 p.m. tomorrow, please send the questions. We we'll send it to pastor's office. He will go through so that tomorrow when he comes, you go through those ones first before he takes care of tomorrow's agenda. So please, we are not cutting any questions. Send your questions to the telephone number on the screen and all your questions will be answered. I would want to call the CEO of Counseling Clinic, Reverend Dr. Daniel Ampia. Praise the Lord. Wow. We've received something today. I believe some of you who have just known our father wish you have known him long time ago. We are believing God that things will work out better. He made mention of something and I remember something. In English grammar, we have something good, better, best. Is that right? Good, better, best. So you come from good, better, best. So, so if you are giving your fiancé your best, your best, your best in the, the marriage, what will you give? <laughs> you have nothing to give. You have already given him your best. So in the marriage, you expect divorce. Because there is nothing. You expect regret. We are most grateful. God bless you. I have seen, seen some of the brethren from Kaswa. God, God bless you. you. I have seen I've Mama Evelyn, formerly with... Um, um, Assemblies of God, Great Accra, God bless you. Uh, they will ask the question. I've also seen some brethren from Faith Chapel, Makati Hill. God bless you. People from Living Foundation, Pastor Francis, I saw your wife. I saw your wife around. Okay. Oh, body, body. <laughs> God richly bless you. What we want to do tonight is our father in the ministry, as far as marriage counseling is concerned, the Lord has taken him through things. We want to talk about the grace to maintain marriage, to sustain marriage. He has that grace. We want to tap into this grace. We want our marriages to grow more than 40 years 50 years, 60 years to be with the same woman the same man so what we are going to do is that we are going to sow seed into his marriage and what we are saying is that I want my marriage to travel more than 40 years to still continue to be with the same woman, it doesn't matter how that woman will look like it doesn't matter how it will look like my wife should continue to be with me because the grace that God has given to him is marvelous. We need the same grace. So we'll sit down. We'll put a few words here. We are going to sow into this 40 and above years. I want my marriage to go more than 40 years. 
I remember what my late father one day called us and told us. My late father gave birth with my mom, 12 children, 10 boys, 2 girls. We have other siblings. And he said something. He said, look, look at my children. I'm telling you, anyone who gives birth less than 12 will be disappointed. <laughs> So, so I believe, I believe that, that if I'm married, married that in five, more, more than 40, 40 years, we disappoint our father. father. So, want so we want to tap that. We want, we want to tap it for just 10 galaxies, 20 galaxies. I just want to move forward and tap into this place. place. This place is so marvelous. It's so marvelous. Like you said, it's not be easy in this marriage. But by the grace of God, I want the same grace. I want the same grace. 10 cities, 20 cities. The same grace. You are not married. Come and tap into this. Come and tap into this. Come and tap into this. He will be disappointed if he hears that my marriage doesn't go beyond 40 years. He will be sad. He will be sad to hear that some of us we couldn't make it. As far as relationship and marriage is concerned. He will be so sad because he has fed us so much. He has given us the stuff. And he expects that what he has given to us, we will use it as a springboard to forge ahead. He will be so sad to hear that we couldn't continue the marital journey. We couldn't continue with our wives. We couldn't continue with our husbands. He will feel so sad. He will feel so sad. So we want to tap into the grace that the Lord has graced him with. That grace, that grace, that grace. Our marriages should travel for more than 40 years. More than 40 years. It takes the grace of God. And the same grace, we want to tap into it. 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 I've seen some brethren from True Vine Assemblies of God. God bless you. I've also seen the pastor of Strong Tower Assemblies of God. I've seen Pastor um, Bismarck Lati Lai and the members. God richly bless you. Tomorrow this place will shake. Tomorrow Friday this place will shake. Don't be a dropout. I give it back to the MC. Thank you very much, doctor. Tomorrow, I'll give you 15 things a pastor told me when I was going to marry. Don't be surprised. I think I've been close to him enough to, to have tapped into some of these things. And I've written 15 of them. Tomorrow when he's done, I'll reveal some of them to you. Amen. It's about time we want to go home. Thank you so much for your time here. In his presence. I'm sure you've picked one or two things for those of us who are already in marriage and for those who are now getting ready into it. And we all pray that our good God will help us all. Amen. I would call on Reverend Francis Viotto to give us a closing prayer. Can we please be on our feet? Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you for being the beginning and the end of today's program. We commit ourselves into your hands. We ask that you would take us to our very destination safely in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And our daddy will give us the benediction. Tomorrow, let's come on time because if time permits, I will minister to some people, individual. So let's come on time. Amen. May his grace continually rest upon you. And may the power of his love fill your hearts. And may you grow from grace to grace, from power to power. May your spiritual life be excellent in the eyes of the Lord. And I declare his peace over you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let a believer shout a big amen. amen.
Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. God bless you all. Please, the dollar is still on the screen. You can send your WhatsApp. All the questions. Please, you have. all the singers, please be on your seat just for a moment. Gilly, all musicians. Gilly, Gilly, please put only your telephone number. Please be on your. Hello.
Oh, no. 